morning. Um, I just helped Gray Fox bring all of the last light copies to the booth. Um, and I talked Shane into getting me this gigantic thing. This is the deluxe version of the game. But I also have the expansion as well. And I know some other cool people have done unboxings, but they're not the designer. And that's me. And so uh, this is my first time ever unboxing. I don't think anybody is currently watching this. Um, and I don't know how to tell if people are currently watching this. Um, but I am here. And here is the game. Somebody's watching this. Oh my goodness. But this is... Uh, Last light, this is my uh, copy here that uh, I talked Shane into giving me so that way I could play with some media people, hopefully. I'm excited to check it out. I have never seen an actual production copy of this game at all. Um, the copies I had before were actually um, like pre-production. The one that I had didn't have any resin planets and the cardboard wasn't final. Um, but we took that to Dice Tower East and had a bunch of people watching it. And uh, Mike Austin is now watching, so I know at least one person is. Mike, Mike Austin is over there. He's my roommate. Um, but yeah, stoked. I should open this up. Um, but yeah, here we go. Ooh, let's see what's going on. But yeah, this is my first time. Well, at least we have good, strong shrink wrap. That's always important in case it rains on your copy of the game, which hopefully it doesn't rain the day that your postage comes. Nope, can't get in. That's it. Okay, turn it off. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. And it is no longer brand new because I have opened the shrink. Okay. Here we go for the first time ever. Yay. So we have our rule book. So we have all of our stuff in here. Um, we did a lot of work on the rule book, which I'm pretty stoked for. Um, so Josh, um, which is my developer, we sent it back and forth with our editing team a whole bunch of times. Um, and it looks so good. Um, another thing is I had like a bunch of friends go through it as well. I had, uh, Chris Yee and Mike Delisio actually help me. I've actually found a few things that were like, Hey, change this, do that. So, uh, Mike complains about rule books all the time, but if he complains about this one, he got an opportunity to look at it beforehand. So it's a little bit his fault. This is your quick reference guide, which shows you all of the exploration tokens and a little bit of what uh, combat, how that works, which this is awesome. It also tells you how to put together your board and your planets, which is awesome. And then we have this nice sealed, um, sealed thing of punch board for all the little pieces. Um, so I'm gonna have to punch all this out, but I guess I could show off some of the stuff. So these are the um, the colony ship, so this is basically the home home starting space where everybody starts and everybody kind of like builds out from there. And oh my goodness, I'm gonna have more issues with cellophane. I actually kind of got that on there. Got it out, got it out, got it out, got it out. Nope, maybe not. This is the uh, stream of watching Roy struggle with cellophane. So, and I threw it everywhere. So we have all of our colony ships, like I said. First player marker, these are all exploration tokens. These are all planetary exploration tokens. These are all of the planet IDs. I know that in Alex's video, he talked about, what do you need these for? These are mostly for colorblind friendliness. They have like different icons on the bottom. And we worked hard to try to make these legible. So if you're colorblind, you can like be like, oh, what color is that planet? It's got this sort of symbol on it. And that matches your planetary achievements as well. This is the base game or the base board for the base game. And one of the cool things that they really did here, I know Christian Strand was the uh, idea behind this, but it has this spot UV on here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like really shiny and has all this kind of like almost, almost like, I don't know, atomic looking like different like swirls or maybe like Dr. Strange made all these, but you can see like the, the spot UV finish on these. So a lot of people are like, why is it just black? It's a space game. Well, this is at the heat death of the universe. There aren't other stars. So we couldn't put stars all over the board, but we have this cool spot UV and like uh, different videos. So it's all very shiny. And we have all of our pieces here. And we won't really get a good feel for how the game looks set up, but we've got a bunch of pictures of other places for that as well. This is the thing I was really stoked about as well. This is the game tray that they have for all of your planets. I know we posted some production pictures of this, 
but not only does it have space for all of the base game planets, it will have spaces for all the expansion planets. So after everything's said and done, you should be able to fit everything in the base box so it's easier for you to carry around a game night. And you do have your white dwarf star that goes in the middle there. Um, this is the promo golden planet, which counts as all four colors when you're doing planetary achievements. And then you have all of your planets, which these are very specific to what you need for your planetary achievements. So, and these are the acrylic ones. So these even come in the retail version of the game. So every single version of the game comes with actual 3D planets. And I do wanna say thank you to everybody saying congratulations, you guys are all super awesome. Um, I'm glad how this all fits together and it holds all nicely in there, super cool. Um, and then we do have, this is one thing I was super excited about and I didn't necessarily expect was how the deluxe, Lance is watching, the deluxe version of this comes together. Um, hey, I talked to Shane. I will not return it. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, these turn out super cool. And the cool thing about them is you have common resources, uncommon resources, and rare resources. And they're like super translucent. And I'll try to like show how they look. So you can kind of see it looks kind of cool, but it's so hard to tell in person how cool it looks, but it's even cooler if you like look at it with the light behind it, because you can literally see how the light shines through. Um, and you have those in silverish, clearish, purple, and the orange, which is for the rare. And this is one thing that like looks really awesome. Shane came with these idea for these canisters, and I think they look really awesome the way that it came together. But yeah, and then we have our asteroids here. These are basically for player counts. These basically clog up the board based on playing like low player count. And you have these that kind of like sit around on the board. Um, but yeah, these could have been cardboard, but you have like actual versions that have the plastic ones in there as well. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I love those guys. Um, and then what should we look at? Oh, the light tokens. So you have all these little light discs that you get. It's not time for dinner yet. Um, but yeah, uh, all of these are for light, so you can have them for the points. Wow, these look very Doctor Strange. I made it. I made a Marvel game. I didn't even mean to, but yeah, these are really cool. I like the way that they came together, and they match the iconography on the cards as well. So, and you can see through them because light. Um, but you have those, and then damage tokens, which you have a massive amount of damage. Tokens. Honestly, you have way more damage tokens than you should ever need in the game, but. You definitely have a ton of these, and these are going to be awesome as well whenever somebody has persistent damage from different things. And I wish I could get this much money. I would win the game if I had enough. But yeah, everything's super, super cool. I love the way all the plastic stuff looks in the deluxe version. Um, and we have all of our planet stands, and then our stands for the star in the middle, which is super cool. And then I want to look at some of the ships here. So I haven't even seen the other sculpts. We have all the bases and these are like really wide bases. So that way when the board spins around, it's not gonna like mess up and things like that. Um, and then let's take a look at some of these shippy ships. And for the base game, we have red, purple, blue, and yellow. So that should be super cool. I wanna see some of these different sculpts because I've seen the basic sculpts. But I haven't seen how the other sculpts look. These are gonna be really exciting to paint. Like I can't wait to like paint these up. Like when I have a copy that I can actually manipulate in that way, that'll be super cool. So this is the small for the purple color. And then you have the medium ships for the purple color. These have this like almost like very alien, very like almost, it, I don't know. It gives me like feelings of like underwater for these ones. It's pretty cool. I'm really cool that they were, I'm really excited that they were able to come up with all different sculpts for the ships as well um but yeah i'm not sure which one of these is my favorite out of all the ships here but i do like these the small ones for the blue ones look very very cool very small little guys getting in there and blowing stuff up and then where is i love these are the original sculpts I actually 3d printed some of these and i talked to them in in it to like make sure like these are gonna like be solid and like not break but they are great. They're definitely super solid. And they definitely came through on making these things look amazing. And most of the cards have like this sculpt on the picture of the cards. So uh, my, my dice guy um, for the dice tower, Tina drew it. 
and it has me holding like one of these ships and one of these ships being like so i'm like reenacting my dice guy but uh yeah i love it um but yeah and then the little yellow fighters look really cool too and they'll have slightly different sculpts so you can see like the different players as they're doing everything but yeah, all, all my friends are here watching what's up everybody um, I definitely can't wait for everybody to get a copy, everybody who backed it. Um, there are cards that are for exploration. These let you know all the different things you could find in space as you're doing the exploration. And then my favorite part, like for real, is all the different aliens. So we have the regular base game aliens, and then these are aliens that are gonna be from the Kickstarter, like all the stretch goal aliens. Um, so, and there is not a small amount. I think once you add in all the expansion stuff, um, it basically makes it so you have 35 aliens in total. So you have the tech guys, these guys get extra technology. You have the Deshard, these guys want to get into combat and roll the bursts so that way they can get extra light. You have the, the legally distinct from Groot guys there if then they're if they're in the middle they get extra points um extra light um these guys i mean these guys are so good i always see players underutilize them but they can spend a common resource to move one ship in extra space so they can get to the middle even faster which is huge in this game the, the burlishan they uh are trading guys so they're all about trading stuff up um, then we have these guys. These are the ones that uh, if your ship would be destroyed, you can immediately pay an uncommon to bring it back. So it's really hard to kill their stuff. Um, and it keeps stuff out of your opponent's graveyard, which keeps them off light. These guys can trigger special abilities on cards. So they really want you to have special abilities on your ships. Um, these guys are insane. They basically can like swarm the board, which makes sense. They look like bees. Um, but you can pay an uncommon resource when you uh, move into a when you explore a planet to be able to immediately construct there. So building up your resources super fast. These guys, when they construct, they immediately gain the resources of that place. These guys, oh man, I love these guys. Exhaust this card and pay that to gain the resources of the planet you control. So if you pay an uncommon resource, you could basically get, you could exhaust these guys and get a better resource. So especially if you have a light space, this is gonna be huge. Um, these guys wanna blockade people, they'll get extra light. These guys can, uh, basically when they're trading, uh, they can upgrade uh, with just one of the resource, but they give someone an uncommon resource so they're giving away even better resources. Um, but yeah, so they can upgrade stuff even better for the resources. These guys, basically whenever they uh, kill ships, instead of putting them in their graveyard, they can just get resources. These guys, um, they can basically re-trigger all of the, um, the exploration tokens on planets. These guys uh, basically can play the mine card over and over again. Is this card discard action card mine? I need to make sure to say the right things because I know some stuff went through development. But honestly, I mean, Josh will tell you like we haven't changed that much from like my original design uh, after all the development place testing. Um, these guys are basically better at knocking out um, when they kill ships. They need fewer in the graveyard to be able to gain light, so they want to blow up people's stuff. They're basically scrappers. Super cool. Um, I love these guys, the Grawl. Um, when you construct, you may exhaust this card and pay a resource to place one ship you constructed on a planet um, you control. So these guys can get their, can actually build their ships on planets that they control, which is huge. Um, the Rock guys just get to add extra dice to the combat, and you have to exhaust them to do that, but they're just good at just basic fighting. Um, these guys start the game with a gigantic ship. So it's a thing that just happens at the beginning of the game, but starting with a big ship means you can blow up enemy constructs at the beginning. And these guys uh, are really hard to kill. So just an extra boost there. Um, these guys you can exhaust and paint on common to remove one of your ships from the board and replace it with a larger size. So these guys are basically constructing bigger and bigger ships as the game goes along. So that's huge. Um, these guys just be able to start the game with, with rare planet beside them. So they're either going to get light or the rare resources. So they're going to be able to build better ships and build better technology than other people if they get lucky with that. Um, these guys... Um, it's really hard to kill their extractors. So um, basically, once they get on a planet, it's hard to remove them from that planet. And it's kind of cool because their their little world here has like iron all around it. So they basically like make their planet so they're hard to destroy. Um, and then we have these guys. They uh, you can exhaust this card to deal damage to an opponent ship 
or construct take one random e unresearched tech from their hand and manufacture it immediately for free. Stealing your technology. Don't let these guys build up because they will steal your technology. Look at those ghosts. They look mean. Don't like those guys. Um, these guys are jerks. They might look cute. They might look like Stitch or something, but they're, they're jerks. They can basically pay an uncommon resource to put the command card back in there. They just fight people. Like, why are they gonna fight people all day long? What's up with that, jerks? Um, these guys can discard uh, tech cards to cancel hits in combat. So basically they uh, have little shields to themselves. That's all of the promos and the expansion tech. We didn't have that gold planet card, which comes with this promo to remind us and a little ring specifically for that promo. And then these are the exotic matter tokens. So when you have these, you roll a die to see which resource you get. Those are super exciting. These, I was like, oh, these are gonna be a promo. I made them for the game like when I started and like playtesting them, like Gray Fox is like, we're gonna put in the Kickstarter. We love it, that's amazing. And um, we have all the action cards, which are the heart, like the lifeblood of the entire game is all the action cards. And that's basically how you play everything out because everything is simultaneous as you play the game. So you're gonna be choosing an action card, putting it face down and everybody's picking them at the same time. So you have your seven different action cards here. You have research, which allows you to get technology. You have mine, which allows you to gather resources and mine. You have construct, which allows you to build extractors and ships, which allows you to build up your army and fleet. Trade, which allows you to get more resources and upgrade your better resources so you can build better ships and better technology. You have refresh, which allows you to take all these cards back. And the most important, it's the most important card in the game because it allows you to claim light for basically your, uh, your planets that you have that are near the center star. And command allows you to move ships once again, blow up you and you attack your opponent. Um, but you don't have to fight. You don't have to fight. You can just all go to the middle and, and kumbaya and gain light, but that's probably not gonna work out very well. Also, we have graveyard card, which uh, when you kill enemy ships, they go here. If you have at least four, you gain a light. I mean, you don't have to kill ships, but hey, if you, you might as well get the energy out of them if you do, you know? We have stacks of technology, stacks of technology cards with do all sorts of different stuff, Ugh. all sorts of things. Planetary achievements are first in here. These are basically trying to get certain color planets. This is not becoming a boxing, it's, it's also a teaching of the game, apparently. If you're trying to get certain colors, these tell you which colors you're trying to go after. You pick one of those at the beginning of the game, and that's kind of like your objective. And then we have so many technology cards which you can go and try to build. These really mix up the game each time you're playing. And uh, all the pros go technology heavy. I'm, most of the time, people that win the game are very much like building up technology and kind of swooping in the end and like wreck everybody. But uh, it's been fun, it's been fun. And especially if you can get a little like Euro tech engine going, it's, it's a lot of fun to like beast that out. And we have all the promo tech cards here. So if people back the Kickstarter, they can get all these promo things, um, especially for the deluxe version. And we have a bunch of extra technology here. Fun fact, a bunch of these technologies I planned for expansion stuff and then they ended up in the game. And there's some of these I haven't even played with. I'm kind of upset about that. Like Photon Blast. People at Dice Tower used to play Photon Blast. I haven't played Photon Blast. I want to play that card. It's not fair. Well, let me play the card. Anyway, somebody play the game with me so I can play that card. Um, we have really cool dice. Uh, this is another thing that Christian did and just made it look amazing. He did all the, the way that the dice look is really cool. I have, I have like a dice I made out of clay, which has these same symbols on them from like back in the day. They, these look way nicer, like the ones that Christian made, but like you have your hits, you have your um, special ability, which triggers special abilities. This is hit and a special ability. And then a hit and a reroll with the little reroll symbol in there. So even the small ships could blow up the larger ships if they get lucky enough. And you get six of those dice in there, which is awesome. I am making a mess, but that is fine. And there is a insert in here which helps you store all this stuff. Take this out here, you can probably fit all your ships in. We got a bunch of baggies so you can fit your stuff together. Lots of space here for all of your technologies. Um, but yeah, that should be great. And the plants for the expansion should fit in here as well. But yeah, that is the b -b 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 base game. Um, this is gonna be very much of the same. This basically pushes the game up to eight players. Um, so you can play Infinity, but it's not going to take you Infinity to play because it still only takes about an hour to play, even with the expansion, which is great, um, which is mostly done because everything's simultaneous. 
I can't get it. I can't get it. Okay. But yeah, ripping this apart. And we can open this up. This is mostly just going to be more of the card stock with uh, all the rules here for the extra player setup. And if you'll see here, it tells you what comes in it. And then also all the different players. And if you notice, when you add more players, you add these little boards on here, which make the board a little bit bigger. And you have four of those in here as well to be able to play with more players. We have a nice protective cardboard foam thing. And then all the stuff you need to basically upgrade for more players. You get a baggie of the planets, which will all pop into the thing from before. So you can pop all of these planets into this, and then everything will fit into your base game because every all the backers are like, oh, we want it to fit all in the base game. Makes sense. A bunch of new ships with different colors. Um, these uh, sculpts. I love that lime green. That lime green is really cool. If we're playing, I, I get to play lime green. Okay? Okay. Um, and we have all of our little extractors, which I didn't look at the extractors for the other thing. Oh, they're already here. There's all of our little extractors for the base set of the expansion. We've got lots more resources for the expansion as well. Um, and then lots more light tokens for all of your stuff. So that way you can be able to play at higher player counts and all of your action cards for the extra players. They actually have copies at Gen Con. I'm excited. We have extremely limited copies. I think they're doing 25 to 30 a day, so it depends on the day, but not very many. We had like a tiny stack um, that I helped them pull out of the uh, pull out of their, their storage. But we have a few more expansion aliens. Um, one of the cool things about the game found is if you didn't want the high player count, like say you only ever have four players to play, you could still get these expansion aliens during the game found. And it was like not very much to get them added on. But these guys uh, make people re-roll um, for each blank and enemy rolls in a sector containing one of your ships. You can assign a damage to their ship type, so you don't want to attack them. So they're mean. Um, these guys can have an extra uh, mod, so even their small ships can have at least two mods, so they can spam all their stuff. Give me those planets! All about the planets. Um, do you have examples of the acrylic planets or the dice? So the planets that I have were the acrylic, and I actually do a like, show off. Um, Shane actually gave me the resin planets too, so I'll have to take those out and compare those for you guys. This is Ruthie's favorite alien. It's a gigantic slug that gets light for destroying stuff. Why her favorite alien is a gigantic slug that gets light for destroying stuff, I'll leave that for you to figure out. But if you play the game with her, it makes sense. Um, the Recog Initiative, um, they basically uh, get, get to unexhaust technologies. And like I said, you can do a whole bunch of engine building with the technologies. These guys are so fun, especially if you're going tech heavy. If they're really fun. These guys just get light for controlling green planets. Don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. Look at them. Look at, they might look nice. Don't let them do it. Um, these guys are actually kind of nice. They get to give everybody technology. They get to draw two technology and uh, keep one and give one to an opponent. Like, they're just kind of nice. You want to be nice to them so they give you the technology too. These guys are kind of crazy. When the board rotates, you can give up to two players light and you get uncommon resources for giving other players light. And you think, why would I give somebody else the point of points in the game? Well, if somebody else is really far behind, you can get extra resources off of them by giving them resources. So these guys can give people points. Don't give it to the leader. I'm saying probably don't give it to the leader. Um, when you come in, you may spend a common resource. If you do, um, skip a shingle ship's movement and move it to any sector, um, any space in that sector. So these guys can basically hop all the way around the ring. They can basically teleport. They're, they're wispy wispy um, fog and they're gonna teleport in there and get to the other side of the board way faster than you thought they could. These guys can pair really good with specific technology, especially the ones that like want the planets in the back. If you get the right sort of combos, these guys can be really cool. Um, these guys always go last in combat, which or when your movement, um, which you would think is like, eh, but the fact that uh, all of the movement happens, then combat happens, this could be a really big, big deal for, for you if you're trying to get out of that. These guys are mean. They look like, they look mean. They can spend the rare resource to just destroy a ship in the sector. Exhaust this card and spend a rare resource to destroy an enemy ship space 
in your sector with an extractor you control. They just blow stuff up. They look mean. That is all of the aliens. That's 35 aliens to be exact. I told you my thoughts on 35 of them. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, I probably am going way too long for this, but let's look at the resin plants now. I got a box of resin. Holy smokes, that star is much bigger. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Um, here is a blue and red. Let's just see the difference. There you go. Let's see me uh, stretching. Okay, so this is an acrylic planet. This comes with every version of the game, um, including the retail version. All comes with 3D planets. These are what the um, hand poured resin ones look like. So you can tell they have like this pearlized like swirl to them, and they look like really crazy and funky. Like look how it's gonna like. These look cool. These look even cooler because they have like that pearlized effect to them. And these are all like hand poured resin, so they're more expensive to make, um, but they end up coming out really cool. Um, yeah, I think the Golden Promo Star kind of looks like that too, you know, because it still has that very like special, like swirl, like resin look. Um, but that's the difference in the acrylic ones. I do have a box here. Let's see, what's in this? I think it is a light. I don't know how long it will take me to put this together, but I'm going to try to assemble a star that lights up. Sorry, that is what I mean was resin planets, yeah. So, let's see here. Here is that. I need batteries. Shane said that the batteries are, oh, I don't have a screwdriver. Uh, I have to get a small screwdriver to make this happen, but I will show you kind of like what this looks like with the star. I don't know if it is. So, if you are hardcore or crazy enough to have gotten a light up star, you get this thing, which is gigantic, and it looks really, it's like really translucent, and it's got lots of sparkles in it. It's so hard to show on camera without being in person. But it's got tons of sparkles on it. We have this light up base. And this will actually sit in the middle of your board. You put batteries in there, which I have the batteries, but I don't have a tiny little screwdriver for that little screw there. Uh, but we'll have to post pictures of it lit up at some point. And you're gonna take this and put it on here. And then you will have your light up star in the middle of your board. And it just takes a few, like three little batteries that you put in there and it has a little on and off switch on the bottom as well. I mean, you can have a light up star for your last light. If it wasn't deluxe enough for you, it's also straight up lit as the kids say. Sorry. And I have planets for the expansion as well. Oh, but yeah, I think I have mostly gone through everything. I have made a gigantic mess of everything here, sitting in my hotel room in Indy with our nice little view here. But yeah, thanks so much everyone for joining it. That was my very first time ever opening and looking at Last Light. And you know what? I'm gonna find a way to play this tonight. Um, and that way I can actually say I've played with a production copy of Last Light. Maybe before most of you. Not before a couple of reviewers, but before most of you. But I do hope that you guys have a lot of fun, and I can't wait for all of our backers and GameFound people to get their copies. And, um, but yeah, I'm going to probably go to dinner and then find a way to play this game. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching this. I hope this saves on Facebook. I don't know how that works. And thanks everybody who said congratulations. Um, make sure to leave in the comments or share with me. Like, honestly, the support for this has been amazing. Like. I couldn't have done it without so many, so many awesome people backing the game and sharing about the game. And I'm really hoping that the word gets out there, you know? I mean, we're trying to make it look cool, we're trying to make it look exciting, but we're also trying to make it like play really well, you know? All of this production stuff was Gray Fox. That was not me. You know, they made sure that this happened and made sure it looks the way it does. If the game doesn't play good, that's my fault. <laughs> but it, I think it will. I think you guys are gonna have fun with it. So anyway, that has been Last Light unboxing. See you guys all later.